Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> I think we recorded, um, which is actually crazy. Um, so, welcome to the I'm Shook podcast, which actually, I'm actually freaking freezing right now. Dallas, don't even start with me. Don't even start. Dallas, don't even start. Don't even start. Don't even start. So, I have a 80-something, five-pound German Shepherd Black Lab mix, and he loves to bark at absolutely everything. Like, if I knock on the door right now, or if I knock on any piece of furniture, he will immediately start barking. Um, and then also, for some reason, every time I watch a show and somebody like rings a doorbell, we don't have a doorbell here. And he literally barks like someone's at the door. And I'm like, we don't even have a doorbell. It's literally been so long since I last recorded, which I'm actually going to pull up how long it's been because it's kind of crazy. And I just got into this mood where I was just like, F it, like, we're just going to do it. So literally the last time I filmed was June 20th of 2021. And a lot has changed. A lot of me has changed. Like, just everything in my life has changed. I'm literally a whole nother person. When I started this podcast, it was literally during COVID, which, guys, think about this. COVID was, like, four years ago. That's freaking insane, four years ago. So, it's just kind of crazy that um, I feel like I wish that I could have stuck with this because podcasting has become such a big industry that I was at the very beginning of it not like the very beginning of podcasting like dumb not like that I'm not saying that but I'm just saying like I was at the beginning of like where a lot of like where a lot of people were just making podcasts just to do talks and just talking and like I started it I'm like oh my gosh I'm shook podcast is such a funny title obviously it plays with my last name shook and obviously like everyone's like oh my gosh like I'm so shook like I'm shaken like oh my god I'm shook to my core like that was such a big thing so I wish I really wish that I stuck with it and I also really wish I stuck with my YouTube channel um but obviously TikTok became really popular and I really love TikTok it's like one of my favorite platforms I do still love Instagram um but I haven't been loving YouTube and now all of a sudden I've been starting to love it again like I love watching Alicia Marie and Remy and there's just so many other people and I don't know if it's also because I like watching podcasts so I watch like um Zayn and Heath Unfiltered I used to watch like David Dobrik's um podcast um Alicia um Pretty Basic like I used to watch so many of those podcasts on YouTube and I feel like that's the reason why I'm starting to love YouTube again and everyone is also really loving long-form content but also a lot of people don't so it's just like a very big mix of like I'm just stuck on like what the heck do I do like I don't want to make long videos and post on YouTube and spend all these hours editing and filming and all these things just for it to like not do anything or like I don't even like expect that this is gonna like do anything like I personally just love this and I love like the setup I love that I'm actually filming and recording a podcast at the same time right now like that's kind of insane so I like the idea of having because sometimes like when I'm driving to work which we'll get into like what's happened in my life the past three years um but like I love like when I drive to work sometimes I have to drive an hour an hour and a half whatever I love listening to podcasts and sometimes I'm in the mood to like listen to music and that's always like so good like we love Taylor like of course um but I also really love listening to podcasts so I just feel like having two different kinds of formats whether it's a YouTube video because I love watching the YouTube videos when I'm getting ready in the morning like I spend an hour getting ready in the morning like I'm either watching a show or I'm watching like somebody's YouTube video so I really love that and then I also just you know because some people don't like listening to podcasts just audio like you know you can go on your hot girl walk you can be walking on the treadmill you could be doing whatever but like I started not liking the more audio versions unless I was driving somewhere so I like the more visual even when I was walking on the treadmill and I would be like working out I would want to have the like visual um version of it so that's why we're doing both and I'm really excited but if you're listening to audio good for you go over to our YouTube channel. Um, it's just Maddie Shook. It's under my like normal YouTube. I'm not making a separate one for this channel. Um, maybe I will, but I kind of just want everything to all be in one place a little bit easier. We do have an Instagram, I'm Shook Podcast, um, on Instagram. So go follow that. 
Um, but let's just get into it. So I was in a mood yesterday driving to work where I was just like, I'm going to start recording again. I'm going to start vlogging again. I'm going to start just like doing what I've been wanting to do and craving to do. And I just love content creation. I actually do it as a job full time, which is crazy. Not content creation like I'm like an influencer or anything. Um, but I do have a job where I am the marketing content specialist at a med spa. And that's just, it has been for the past two and a half years the best. We've gone through so much as like a company altogether. We were bought out by a private equity. Um, and so we've just been able to expand more and it's just been crazy. Um, and then we went through some like kind of crazy things happening within the business. Um, so it's just been a roller coaster. And I feel like that's also why, because I've been pouring my soul and like everything into my job and my career. And so I just felt like, you know, I'm just... I'm just kind of focusing on that and then Zach and I moved into our own apartment we have a dog we have a cat now and I've just been living life I've been traveling a lot this year guys this year is gonna be one of my favorite travel years I think like I'm almost gonna get emotional because I'm just like I'm so grateful for the life that I've created for myself and just like Overall, I've just felt so thankful and grateful for the life that I've created, but also like anybody and everybody that has helped me get there. Um, though that I would give myself a lot of credit because I have worked so hard, but I also know that like my family has been so supportive and um, Zach has been so supportive. My friends have been so supportive. Like just, I just have such a good circle and a good life right now. Like knock on fucking wood because we ain't, we ain't dealing with that. Um, so I just have like, I don't know. I've just been very, very lucky and grateful and just, I don't know the past couple months. I've just felt so like, this is going to be such a good year. This is just, you are just living like you're 23, like live your life. Like, you know what I mean? Cause like, you never know what's going to happen. You never know like what roadblock is going to come in. Um, so I just, I just feel very grateful. And so basically, um, two years ago, I or four years ago, I started this podcast during COVID. I was living at my parents' house. My younger sister was still there. My other younger sister was still living at home and my younger brother. My two younger siblings are very little, like they're like 10 and 11. So they're like little babies. Um, and then my older sister lives down in Florida now. She's about to be 25 this year. Oh, sorry. So during COVID, I was very much into the whole influencer content creating. I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to be Alicia Marie so bad. And I started my YouTube channel um, in like high school. So it was probably like the end of junior year, the summer into senior year, which was 2019 when I graduated. And I just loved vlogging and I would vlog in school and people would think that that was so cool. And like, obviously I would get attention for it. So of course I loved it. Um, and then obviously I graduated and I was like, I have no idea what I'm freaking doing. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I love social media, but I didn't want to go into, like, I didn't want to go to school for marketing because one, I didn't want to pay for college. I was not expecting my parents to pay though. And they also couldn't pay. Like I, like, first of all, like it's my education. Like I know my, my parents raised me for 18 years. Like they got, they got it when you're 18, like see you late. <laughs> um, and obviously I was still living at home. So then 2020 came literally two days after my birthday was when the world shut down so that kind of sucked um so I turned 20 or I turned 19 during COVID and I did right yeah I turned 19 during COVID and that was just you know that was kind of crazy um and so I literally didn't see Zach for several months because obviously my parents were being very safe about COVID um so I didn't see him because he we didn't live together so sometimes I wish that we did because I think that would have been so fun but I also am so grateful for the way that my life panned out and the way that it happened um because I just think it was perfect um <laughs> you know so it was 2020 COVID crazy but I also really loved it I would get unemployment so I wasn't working I was at first working as a manager and I was actually a marketing manager at this restaurant and like this whole like complex thing um it was a bunch of stuff it was like a city it was like a town square it was like a a bunch of different things um so I was like a manager there I was like a cashier a bartender a banquet server like I did a bunch of stuff and I really loved it there 
then COVID hit they were like you guys can't sorry you're not working anymore so I'm like okay so I loved I was I was getting my foot into the door of being like a marketing person like getting my foot into like graphic designing and whatever because I was doing it for myself like I was doing my YouTube I was doing stuff on Instagram and so my boss literally saw it and was like can you do it for us then their marketing person left and then they kind of hired me part-time so I was doing a bunch of different things I was wearing like a bunch of different hats which was kind of cool um and then COVID hit so then they kind of like sorry you're not doing that anymore so I'm like okay so then they hired like their daughter to do it or something which was fine I was just kind of like oh damn and like she wasn't doing the same thing I was doing like to be honest she was not good (laughs) at it which kind of sucks and I'm not saying but they actually ended up selling recently so I'm just saying that if they kept me or at least got somebody like that I anyway we're we're not gonna get into that so then it was COVID and then um which I keep saying fucking COVID so many times so sorry guys we're in 2020 like we know what that is um so like the summertime was great like my parents made us have like a very like strict schedule they were like you guys aren't just sleeping all day and whatever like you guys are like getting up and doing stuff so I was in college actually I ended up going to MCC so I was in MCC um for about a year at this point and I think I was starting my second to last semester so I was almost done and I was almost going to get an associates I originally went for business and then I decided to switch to communications and media studies because that seemed a little bit similar and a little bit more on brand for like what I was trying to go for like I have no idea what I wanted to do I knew I wanted to do marketing but I didn't want to be like all like dressed up in suits and stuff and like be in a marketing firm and like I didn't want to do all those like reporting and like I didn't, I didn't want to do any of like the analytics and like all these like I just wanted to create content like I I loved photography and then that's when I kind of also started getting into photography a little bit I started realizing that like oh I'm actually kind of good at taking people's pictures like I kind of understand like where people should be positioned I understand like the settings of a camera like I just started and like my best friend in high school um unfortunately we're not really besties anymore but she if she's watching love you um but she was a photographer and so she would I would always be her model so I'm like I kind of would learn things from her and I kind of would like understand things but I was always like wait I want to be on the other side of this like I love a good camera in my face but like I kind of want to do this for other people and I just this was like also like I loved Aspen Ovard like she would always take pictures this is like JC Marie Smith like I like loved their vibes and I'm like I want to do that so bad um but obviously like I feel like when you're looking up to people that are older than you it's kind of hard because they like kind of have their life all put together quote unquote and they just have money and they can do more things I'm like I can't travel to Bali and take pictures of like whatever so I just you know so I just started like filming things like I would do like Shein hauls because Shein became really popular so that was the thing that I could afford I could afford to buy like $300 worth of Shein clothes and swimsuits so I did that and then basically like I just was posting things and then I'm like I'm gonna start a podcast and so I started this and kind of like was loving it I was loving doing episodes with my siblings and I wanted to do episodes with my parents and I just wanted to like also interview a bunch of people and then at this time I had a lot of friends that were also like starting YouTube channels and starting podcasts I was just blossoming and so then I ended up dropping out of college because I was like I literally can't I just don't like it. It was COVID. I couldn't do online school. It was not doing well. I was like, I don't even know what this degree I'm going to use for. And so I was like, I just want to work. Like, I just want to make money. I just want to like try to live my life. Um, I ended up starting to work at Starbucks and I was so busy all the time. I was also exhausted because I'd have to get up at like 4.35 in the morning to open up the cafe and like work. And then it was just exhausting. Um, So I did that for a while. I was still living at home. Me and Zach were still dating. Um, obviously after COVID, we were able to see each other again, which is nice because it was like a couple, like four months or so that we like didn't see each other. We like got to do like long distance, like dates. Um, but like, it's not obviously not the same unless you have like the physical touch. Um, so then ended up working at Starbucks and then I ended up working at a yoga studio as like a juice um bar person and I just was like I just want to do something different I was like I literally like I can't 
I can't just keep doing this. I can't just keep working these minimum wage jobs. Like I just was like, I just want to do something that I actually love to do every single day. And so I ended up going on Indeed and literally <laughs> applying for jobs in marketing or like content creation or just like social media management because my dad was telling me and my mom were telling me that like, they're like, you realize that these are things that you, you can like do this as a job, right? Like you can like, like manage businesses instagrams and like their social media right and i'm kind of like oh i guess and this was just so new and like obviously covid definitely brought out like the influencers and the content creators and so that was just blossoming even more than like just classic youtubers and like instagram models and like those kind of people were and so obviously then the brand deals started happening brand trips and it was just like this huge explosion of stuff and then obviously it's like charlie d'amelio and all those people now was just like i want to hop on that and so that's when i started trying to do stuff and then my dad's like you realize that you can like you can like do this as like a job right and I'm like oh okay so that's literally when I went on Indeed and started just applying for like every single job and some of them were like you need a master's degree you need a bachelor's degree in this and that and I was like you know what I'm gonna send them my resume I have experience in this industry I have I'm a very self-taught person I'm like I'm just going to go for it because honestly, I feel like nowadays, especially the Gen Z, we're realizing that you, the only, a lot of times the only way that like you can get these big corporate crazy big jobs is if you have a piece of paper that you spent hundreds of thousands of dollars or your parents did and you're in debt and whatever. Like my friend right now, she's still paying like off her debt um, and she's not even using her degree <laughs> to be honest and she's like literally still living with her parents because she's like I can't move out because I can't afford it right now because I'm paying my student loans down and I'm like that's crazy like I didn't want to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars though I couldn't even afford it um to literally try to find a job or like a basic job and I didn't even want to be in like the corporate side of things like I wanted to work for a small business or I wanted to I don't know I just wanted to do something that I could use my creative juices and my brain and I could just Because I just felt like I was actually doing something worth it versus like making drinks at Starbucks or making drinks at a juice bar, which I'm not like, obviously, people that or have to work those jobs to just afford to live like, obviously, I'm not shitting on that. But like, for me personally, I just didn't want to do that. Some people can do that and feel fine with their life. Like they can go to work and then kind of leave it and just be like, yeah, I'm just working this to live and then leave. Like, I wanted to do something that, like, almost felt like I wasn't going to work. Like, it was enjoyable. So, I ended up, I was also working at a coffee shop as well. So, the juice bar and the coffee shop, I was both working at. And I ended up getting, like, a phone call. And it was, like, a random phone call. And I knew that I applied to a bunch of Indeed job listings. So, I was like, shoot, I should answer, like, any unknown caller. So, I answer it. And it was my um my old manager and she was like hey like you know is this Maddie and I'm like uh yeah and then she's like oh hi like I saw that you applied whatever the normal stuff and she's like do you have a moment to talk and I'm literally like uh and a customer literally walks in I'm like oh my gosh yeah I'm so sorry can I call you back in like 15 minutes I'm like holy shit so then I literally had to hang up on her and I'm like oh my god that's such a bad impression like I'm whatever this job was and she said that she was from Monroe Med Spa and I'm like what the fuck is Monroe Med Spa I'm like Med Spa I'm like what the what job did I fucking apply for I'm like holy shit so then I end up going on my indeed account I'm like okay I'm like oh marketing manager oh okay okay so I'm like okay I applied marketing manager I'm like okay Munner Metzpa okay 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 so I'm like trying to think then I started looking up like MunnerMetzpa.com and I'm like okay let me look at your website real quick so she like knows that I know what I'm talking about so I literally go on my break and I literally go to the bathroom and I'm like on the phone I'm like hi like literally doing like a first impression interview I'm like I'm so sorry I like answered the phone thinking I had time and I just like didn't I'm so sorry um ended up they wanted me to come in for a shadow um they love my resume so I came in I kind of did an in-person interview then I came in for a shadow day where I literally like pretended I worked there essentially and like was mingling with everybody they wanted me to make this video on one of their services that they offered so I literally made the video in like 30 seconds and they were so impressed they were literally like oh my god we're like we need to post this so they gave me like the login information and I posted it on their Instagram and it did really well and they were just like oh my gosh so then I was a little nervous because when I walked in it was chaotic it was a small it was they had four locations so of course I was in the one in Rochester New York and they were like 
just very chaotic and I went to the back room the back room was just full of shit it was full of everything it was so disorganized I sat on this little stool and the owner the founder of it came in and he's like talking to me then his wife is talking to me then my old manager was there and I was just like I was like I don't know if I want to work here because this is a little this is a little much and so then ended up it went apparently well they wanted me to come they offered me a job and I started so I started working there in 2021 I think um so that's okay so I started working there in 2022 so and I started working there literally dream job and I'm still working there today and it's completely different before I was just doing their Instagram and not really even their Facebook just really doing their Instagram then I started making their menus I started making car like I just started doing everything and I just I was the only person there that did anything with the marketing besides the help from my old manager and then the founder and I was just like this is amazing like I would come into work every day like I had really good hours like I would come into work at like 10 and like leave at 2 and so it was kind of part-time-ish um, and then I ended up needing more hours and then I was also doing more so then it just blossomed to this career and this thing and then we got bought out by a private equity firm that ended up creating this whole aesthetic partners brand um, which now they own us and then they own a bunch of other brands so it's essentially like what I like to describe it as it's like a how Old Navy and Gap and I think it's like Bath and Body Works are all owned under the same company or kind of like Marriott, like the hotels. Like Marriott owns a multiples of different types of hotels. That's kind of how we're owned now. And I've met so many cool people. I met a lot of like, not like famous, but kind of like pretty important people in like the aesthetic industry, the business world. Like I networked with like, I just never in a million years but I think that I would be where I am um I also got to travel to Vegas three times three times three times guys three times I went to Vegas three times in a matter of like a year and a half I went in like July then I went in February and then I went in July so literally like like six or five months apart like this is how like crazy it was like I just literally was I literally was living my best life and I still am it's calmed down a lot more and I've kind of been more stable in like what I'm doing um so I kind of do pretty much the same thing every week now versus like before I was just learning all these things and I just kept like expanding my knowledge which now it's kind of like you I've learned so much like I'm kind of doing what they need me to do right now I would love to do more and that's why I started my marketing with Maddie Instagram I wanted to kind of help other marketing managers social media managers marketing specialists content creators um other people in our industry the aesthetic industry like estheticians injectors like anything like that and I just wanted to wanted to do something so I started that so go follow if you're in the marketing world or even like if you're a content creator and influencer or whatever you do I'm just there to kind of help guide you in creating content and all that kind of stuff I just took quite the hiatus that's even the word to use I literally was just laying in bed right now because me and my girls just booked our trip to Nashville well we're about to we were discussing it um so I literally have been sitting on my phone trying to make sure we can get flights and like whatever but that honestly leads into the next conversation so obviously I don't even remember what I finished talking about give me one second to figure that out okay so oh god Okay, so I remember what we were chit-chatting about. So basically, I am now a marketing specialist at Munner Med Spa, so I am doing that right now. Um, Zach and I have been together. We just celebrated our seven years, um, so hopefully, hopefully soon, we never know, <laughs> get a little ring on it. Um, and I've just been doing so much with my family. I booked a lot of trips this year. So last year I went to, um, so my younger sister joined the military. So we went and saw her in, um, Paris Island graduate, um, from the Marines. <laughs> Badass. And then my older sister, who also is a Marine, um, is in Florida right now. And so basically we made a whole trip about it. And then we also went to an Alabama game. <laughs> Clearly, I'm wearing that right now. Um, but we went to, literally, we did a whole trip. This was in October of this past year, so in 2023. So literally, like, five months ago. 
Um, and then I also went to Vegas in July. I traveled a lot last year, a lot more than I thought I was going to. And then that's what made me get the travel bug. So I went and saw my sister in um, Florida. So I traveled for the first time by myself because um, I was like going to Vegas um, the past like two times before that but I was traveling like with a group I had a horrible experience I ended up having to stay overnight at the Chicago airport literally we like our flight was like missed it was this whole thing and then they didn't have a flight for us until in the morning so I literally slept in the airport for eight hours it was kind of crazy I was like super excited and I ended up booking a trip to go see my older sister in Florida which is like totally such a perk for like having a family member that lives far away because then you can make a trip to go see them. So that was super fun. I got to meet her boyfriend. I got to meet all of her friends. Got to see her apartment. Got to see my niece, which is a dog. <laughs> her name is Noli um, from Magnolia. And then, um, oh, hi, doggy. Hi. Hi, poop head. Hi, poopy doop. Dallas came to say hi. Oh, and I guess he wants to come up. This is Dallas, everybody. Um, sorry for the listeners that can't see, so you're going to have to go to the YouTube channel if you want to see my handsome boy. You're so handsome. Look at the camera. Mm, okay, get down. Oh, don't. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not do that. Let's not. <laughs> um, And then I ended up going to Vegas again in July for the third time and then went to um Florida in October I also went to Albany to see my cousins we went whitewater rafting so I just was like doing a lot of fun stuff last year and then this year I was like this is the year because like I'm obviously hopefully and probably going to be getting engaged soon which means a wedding and planning all that which those can cost a lot of money which I'm trying not to make mine cost like that much because I just don't see how like it's kind of silly to spend over thousands of dollars on like one day which I totally get it if you are dreaming about that and that's something you want to do and can afford go ahead but like I'd much rather make a trip out of that money or like spend I don't know like I'm not also not gonna buy a dress that's like a thousand dollars like I'm not gonna like any of that kind of stuff because like it's like I just can't fathom spending that much money on something um so basically I'm just planning that at some point that's going to happen and that's going to be a very big like expense or just a big like priority in my life at that time. So I like really want to get all my traveling and just like do the things that I want to do uh, like out of the way now, which not meaning that I won't ever like do big trips or anything, but like it gets harder when you get older. It gets harder when you have more responsibilities, aka like children. Um, luckily, like Zach's family is super amazing and they watch our animals for us. But like just as you get older, it gets harder to do things. So I just want to like as a 23 year old, I just want to do everything that I can now like because you also just never know when it's going to be your last so I like just want to try to do as much stuff as I can now um so basically um this is the travel plan for the year so I actually already did a couple things already this past year and it's only April so basically in February my younger sister who's the one that joined the military she's stationed in California so I actually got to go to California for the first time which has been a huge dream of mine um we went to California we went up to like San Francisco and we just literally amazing I saw the Golden Gate Bridge and it was just such a fun trip um it was literally for like the weekend ish like we like left on like a Friday and came back on like I think a Monday or a Tuesday so we got to spend a lot of time with her um that was really fun so I haven't seen her since um and I probably won't see her for a little bit um so I was really excited to see her and then I went to Toronto with Zach and I's friend group for my birthday in March so we all drove up it's only like three hours from where we live right now um three-ish four-ish hours so we all drove up and spent the weekend in Toronto and just did a bunch of stuff and that was super fun um and then in in June I'm going to go see my sister again in Florida so I'm honestly just making it a yearly trip um which is super fun so I'm gonna go see her for like the weekend ish like I'm leaving like I think like a Friday coming back like a Tuesday so we get like the weekend together um and then something's happening in July which I can't tell you about because it's actually for Zach's birthday and it is somewhere really cool he's never been and it's just super fun um so if he doesn't know anything about that I do not know if he's even gonna be watching this but like just in case he is hey babe but also like I just don't 
you never know so anyway so we're doing something super cool then and then in um september so that's in july so then in september we just booked um a trip with my best friend lauren and then her friend from college which is probably gonna end up being my new best friend but she lives in connecticut right now they all went to college in florida um i'll have to do a whole episode about like my friend lauren um because we've become so close over the past like year and we're just like we started a series on my tiktok and instagram called like lauren and maddie's adventures and we're just doing so much more things together um but she actually was dating one of Zach's friends and then that's how me and her knew each other and now it's just blossomed into like this amazing friendship and I'm just so grateful for her but that'd be really fun to do an episode on like how we met and all these things because it's just so funny um and then um basically she went to college down in Florida and she has a friend in Connecticut named Maeve <laughs> Maeve if you're watching hey girl um so we ended up like we wanted to plan something like me and Lauren like every time we go out we always are like let's go to Miami let's go to Tampa let's go to California let's go to Arizona like we just plan all these random things and then we never actually do it and then surprisingly she went to go see Maeve in Connecticut and was like oh my gosh like we should do a trip together like da 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 they were gonna plan to go to Ireland which I was like ooh, I don't have my passport and I also don't want to pay for a passport right now because I don't really need it for anything besides like going outside the country and I'm not planning to anytime soon she was like, you know, I did a texting was like, hey, like, I don't think I'm going to Ireland this year. Like, why don't we all go to Nashville? So we're going to go to Nashville in September. And I'm just super excited about that. I have been to Tennessee, actually, because my dad went to college in Tennessee. And when we would go visit his family in Georgia, where he grew up, we went through when we drove to Tennessee and we got to go to his college and stuff like that. So I have been to Tennessee, never been to Nashville before. So I'm really, really, really excited to go. And we're spending literally like four nights there. So it's going to be crazy. And I'm just like so excited. Um, and then in October, I'm going to go see Taylor Swift. Oh my God. Like I still can't believe I'm saying that. Like guys, if you're watching the YouTube version, like you clearly would already be able to tell that I'm a Swifty. Like, we have vinyls over here. There's vinyls over here. There's vinyls over there behind the camera. And then there's also these really cute prints that are actually Taylor Swift coded. Um, they're from Etsy. Um, literally, like, I have become such the, like, the biggest Taylor Swift fan um, ever. Like, my friend from high school, like, she was the biggest Swifty ever. Like, every holiday, birthday, I would always get her something Taylor Swift themed. And I always, like, loved her. Like, I always thought she was great. I loved her music. I never fully, like, understood everything. I never understood her lyrics. I never really understood her life before. Like, I loved her. Like, I wasn't a hater. I wasn't, like, oh, you know, whatever. And then when the Aeros tour came out and it was such a big thing on TikTok and... I like obviously like would, like would listen to songs and stuff because of my friend from high school and then I kind of like wasn't really listening and then like Midnight's came out and I was kind of like like Lover came out and I loved Lover then there was Folklore and Evermore and I wasn't like vibing with those at the time and then she started doing all of her re-recordings and then Midnight's came out and I just like fell in love with Midnight's and then that's when I truly started to like really understand like I loved her like I've loved her since she like became famous but I just never like you know I would like her popular songs like I feel like a lot of people that weren't so, like like OG Swifties or whatever I feel like they never like like we all like loved her we just never like I don't know like never fully deep dived or never like was super into all the easter eggs and the conspiracy theories and crazy and then I don't know what happened I don't know if it's because like my little siblings started also liking her and then my dad is like a big super fan and my mom's a super fan and then I think it just became like this huge like oh my god and so then of course I never I couldn't get tickets for the original one because I actually I never understood the whole like ticket master verified fan and all these things so I obviously missed the mark when she originally released the dates for the Eras tour and so then when she released the second leg of the U.S. tour I was like oh my god I was in my deepest like Swifty like oh like I'm still in that era but like I was so like oh my god I have to get tickets and then I also was like I have to be the best sister ever and get my siblings tickets so I was gonna buy tickets for my whole family and then the whole thing about you can only buy four I was like oh my god how am I gonna only pick four so then that was a whole thing and so ended up um getting becoming a verified seller I got tickets to Miami because silly me I, I registered for Miami thinking oh we'll go make it a trip and go see my sister in Florida she lives literally like 12 hours away from 
Miami. Like, Miami's down here. She's all the way up here in Florida. So that was just not a good, like, thought on my part. But also, it was a good thought on my part because my entire other family members that I signed up to be verified sellers, I signed them up for all the Toronto shows because we live, like, four hours away from Toronto. And so they ended up all getting waitlisted, and I was the only one in the family that actually became a verified seller or a verified fan. So I was literally like, holy shit, we're going to Miami. So then ended up like I was going to take my dad, but then I felt bad because I didn't want to like leave my mom out. But then like my dad is a bigger fan than my mom, but like still like I just didn't want to have to leave my mom home and then my dad and my siblings come. And then I was going to bring Miranda, but she's in California and obviously in the military and she has no idea when she's going to have free time. And then Morgan's not the biggest Taylor Swift fan. So I was like, I don't really want. And she was like, I don't even want to go. So I was like, I'm not going to give you a ticket then. And then Zach was like, you know what? I'm going to go. And Zach has become a big Swifty. He's not obviously on my level, but he loves a lot of Taylor Swift songs. So anyway, so ended up then going um, to book Miami tickets. So I'm taking my two siblings with um, Zach to go to Miami in October to see her show. And I'm literally, like, oh my God, I'm going to get emotional. Every time I watch the Eras tour like intro, I'm literally brought to tears because I'm just like, I don't know. She's just brought so much joy to me in the past like two years that I felt like I've been such a Swifty, like I've fully identified as a Swifty. Um, but also too, like she's also bringing back so many memories of like when I used to sing her songs or like I used to be in high school singing the songs like so it's just super cool. And like anybody that is not a Swifty or anybody that's not a Taylor Swift fan or even like people that are Taylor Swift haters like it just sucks because you're just missing you're just like robbing yourself of this joy and this like experience because like being a Swifty is so like it's so fun and like it's also just so like I don't even know how to describe it it's so beautiful because like you understand like you're obviously idolizing this one person which like sometimes is not the best because what if you meet that person in real life and then you realize that they're not the best or they make a mistake or something and then you're like oh my gosh I've idolized you for forever but like she's obviously always done things that like she is valid for us idolizing her for but then also just following along on like the journey of her life and then the way that she's telling us these stories and then how like she doesn't really tell us the truth about things but we obviously end up finding it out because like we're detectives um and I just like it's just so fun and it's so like beautiful to like when you listen to the music or like when 1989 tv came out literally I had a release party at my house and like my whole family came over and we all did like themed things and it was just so fun and just having that experience of sharing this like love for someone and something is so beautiful and like for anybody like I have people that are like mm, I just Taylor Swift annoys me or like I just don't like her and I'm like that's so like that that just makes me one not like you and not like respect you because if you can't see the things that Taylor does or even like the songs that she makes like I don't care if you don't like her music first of all she's done like every freaking genre ever so like there's no way you can't like at least one song and um but like if you don't like her music you have to at least respect her because of like what she's gone through what people have done to her like she's just like clearly I've spent like 10 minutes freaking talking about her so I would love to do an episode on all of that but like I just I'm so excited to go and it made me so excited I literally cried like you can go on my TikTok I made a video of me purchasing the tickets because obviously if you became a Taylor Swift verified fan and you um had to go through that experience of buying tickets you would 100% understand why I was bawling my eyes out after I got the tickets um because it was so stressful and I thought I was gonna get kicked out of the server and lose tickets and da 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 and yeah I spent a lot of money on them but I am so freaking excited so that's pretty much my whole traveling plan for this year obviously like I'm going to Zach Brown band for a concert I think next week I might be going to a Luke Combs concert not 100% sure yet but like I'm just very excited for this year and I have so many things that I just want to do and I think my theme of this year is just do it because like which ugh, fucking hate that that's like so Nike but like I'm just like wanting to do it because like money comes money goes yeah, I'm not trying to like rack up credit cards, which I've done really well with paying off all my credit cards when I moved out. Because when I was 18 and I moved out, I was not really the smartest with my money and my like obsession with, oh my God, I have a credit card. Like I have $2,000 on this card. Like I'm just going to, like, no. So I've gotten so much better at like 
being responsible with my money, of course, now that I'm older. But, like, I'm just excited. I'm just, like, money comes, money goes. But, like, sharing experiences with people, creating these memories that, like, literally will last a lifetime that, like, you'll think about when you're younger and, like, or you'll think about when you're older or what you're going to tell your kids. Like, I don't know. I'm just super excited for this year. And it's just, I think 2024 is just going to be such a beautiful year for me. And I've already, like, the past, like, I don't know if I think about my life in a way of, like, kind of like, oh, I started YouTube here. I started my podcast. Like, I feel like that's how I kind of, like, view my life is, like, where was I at times? And the reason I really want to start my YouTube channel and my podcast again is because I love the, like, I love the idea of looking back on memories and looking at where I was in my life. Because I look at my old YouTube videos and I'm like, oh, please give that girl a hug. Or, like, please tell her, like, it gets better. Or you're going to feel better. Or you're going to, like you're going to feel better in yourself. You're going to feel more confident. You're not going to feel this way forever. Like, I really wish that I could look at, like, I look at myself when I watch those videos and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I feel like I want to do that now. I want to make videos and I want to make podcasts and like just vlog my life and like be able to have those memories because like 20 years from now when I have kids and we're looking on mom's YouTube channel at old videos when she was 17 in her car with her boyfriend um which is dad or whatever and they're they're listening to holiday music and doing a carpool karaoke like those are the videos that I watch now and I giggle and I laugh and like we just like me and my friends were watching it the other day and we were just laughing so hard because it's like so funny and embarrassing but like those are like such like those are fun memories to me is even like looking back on memories is a memory so I just I don't know I'm excited and if you've made it this far watching or listening I'm just super excited to continue and I'm really like I feel like I've made so many videos and so many like I've definitely recorded a podcast like this before not like this I've never done one where I'm like filming myself but I'm very proud of myself and I just have a feeling that this is going to be different this time. I feel like I've made vlogs before where I'm like, I'm back. (laughs) Or like my podcast on my Instagram, I even posted one and I was like, a new era is coming. Like, girl, where? Because that was the only post you made and it's been two years. (laughs) So I'm just excited for this journey and just like, I don't know, like, I want to have friends come and sit on the bed with me. I want to have Zach come. I want to have my family come. Like, I just want, like, what if I brought this to freaking Nashville and we did a freaking three-way freaking a (laughs) three-way. We did a podcast for the three of us. Like, I just, I'm so, so excited for the things that could happen with this. And even though, like, it would be so great if I got brand deals, right? Like, I've gotten several brand deals for just random things. But, like, it would be so cool to obviously get, like, paid to do this. But I also am just so excited to do this because I love doing this and this is just fun. (laughs) So, I'm super excited. And, I just feel really good and I'm very happy with where I am right now and I feel so confident in myself and though I have so much to grow like I've been going to spin classes and I've been trying to work out more so I could help my body you know do better and my body be able to help me um, live my life Um, but though I'm so much more confident in myself which is so crazy because I was at my thinnest like when I was in high school right because I was also like 18 years old so like of course you're not even finished growing yet. So I was so tiny and I remember looking at myself thinking, oh my God, I'm so big versus now I'm like, Maddie, you're like a hundred pounds more than you were then and you are like way more confident in how you are now. And so I just think, I don't know, I just think I'm such in a good place right now and I also want to share that with people and also help people because like when I watch like podcasts or listen to podcasts or watch people's YouTube channels or TikToks, like that makes me happier. Like I see stuff of people and I'm like, that inspires me. And I just want to be that for somebody else as well. So not only is this a great document, like documenting my life thing, but it's also a great thing to also, who knows who this is going to affect and inspire. So I just, I'm just so excited for this. So thank you so much for listening and watching. If you prefer to watch it, this is on Um, a YouTube channel, Maddie Shook. It'll be linked in the show notes below. Um, But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe and like, comment, do whatever, share with your friends. And then also make sure you go to my personal Instagram, which is It's Maddie Shook. And then also go to um, I'm Shook Podcast Instagram, where I might have 
you know, we might be posting questions that you need to ask or who knows what kind of things I'm going to be posting on there. I am super excited for the episodes to come and everything. So this is the I'm Trick Podcast. Thanks for listening. Oh, 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 oh